Yeah. You're absolutely right. We've been playing great volleyball in the practice gym and even in the competitions, and we haven't gotten the results that we've wanted. So, you know, to get a win tonight in three in a dominant fashion, everybody contributing, all phases of the game looking good, offense, defense, transition. Um, I'm just really happy for the girls because uh, they've been working their tail off. So you want hard work to be rewarded with some wins and, and that process that we always talk about. You know, we finally saw the outcome tonight. So it's just the credit goes to, to the girls because not only have they stayed invested in what they're doing and they've stayed invested in the process, but you know, they're doing well and they're implementing the stuff that we're teaching them in the, in the practice gym and to see it pay off, it's just a credit to them and, and our assistant coaches too, who just work with them all the time and, and get them ready and get them prepped. And uh, so it's a good team win tonight. Yeah, yeah, exactly. We've talked about needing basically an outside to step up and Lauren Merrill continues to step up and put away balls and it helps our offense become so balanced. Kate Dedrick is just, she's proving herself to be unstoppable. Back row, front row, in system, out of system, one blocker, two blocker. Like, she's just finding ways to score. Um, she's a critical piece of the puzzle. But, again, it goes back to everybody being a consummate team win. I mean, when those two are productive on either pin, it opens up us up in the middle. And Julia Brown had a great match tonight, and her numbers look awesome. I don't think she erred one time. Um, Caitlin Ferguson did an awesome job. And so when you get them going, it draws the middle blocker on the other side and just helps Kate... And, and our outsides be that much more productive. So um, Kate has been so reliable and so dependable. I mean, I looked at the box score, I think, after set two, and she had 15 out of our 30 kills. I mean, it's just insane. Um, so, again, it goes, goes back to her own investment in the process, and, and she's doing a great job. They were, they were just like the game hungry, hungry hippo. Like anything that was coming over, they were just gobbling it up. Um, there was no ball that... You know, it couldn't be hit hard enough that they could still dig it as long as they were in position. And they were just flying all over the place. They were commanding the court. They were being fearless. Um, and those are the two attributes that we want them to exhibit on the court. And they just crushed it. I mean, when you have two players like that who are flying all over the place and making plays for the team and giving us second opportunities in transition, it just feeds confidence back in that says, you know what, even if I chip this ball in, I got some crazy girls behind me who are going to make some plays for us to keep us in it. Yeah, I mean, confidence to win when you have to get the point, when it's 24-23 and you're inside out and it's match point and you execute first ball side out kill, that, that, that gives so much for you. And we already had one of those at UNCW, so it's compounding now. And, and we're getting to the point that we know we have the talent. Um, and I think lastly, and, and maybe most importantly, it's a confidence boost for our leadership. You know, Julia Brown and Autumn Brenner have made certain that our team rebounds and is resilient and that we're prepared for the next match. And last year, you know, I thought we really struggled again when we have a series of games that we have to bounce back from and we've lost before. And to keep that group in alignment and making sure that we're coming out fresh and prepared, it's a, it's a hats off to JB and, and Tom to make sure that, you know, we're ready to go. So um, I'm amped and, um, you know, we got one this coming weekend that we'll get prepared for, but tonight we're going to enjoy it. It's Janelle's birthday. We'll have some fun and then uh, we'll get back after it.